oxygen and liquid hydrogen fill in green valves are closed. T minus 40 seconds, handing off to Atlantis' computers at T minus 31. T minus 35, 33. And we have had a failure. Grand lock sequencer. I got to the EFT. Right. Yes, sir, we need to, uh, to do the verification for the LPC, please. All right, C-Mac. Yes, C-Mac. The LPC says we need to verify using a camera, and we're positioning camera 62 right now. Okay, let us know if you're going to take the two and pull over and you can verify all the And I'll bring the holder here for a second while we verification and the GBA is fully retracted. This is C-Mac, we verify, uh, I'm retracted. Ready, uh, here we go. Okay, Verified as this for the uh, instructions that we're using uh, that we developed, right? That's correct. Alright, and then we need to curve this kind of size. The requirements is DSC 24 seconds into the flight, roll program complete, Atlantis now heads down, wings level on the proper alignment for its eight and a half minute ride to orbit, four and a half million pounds of hardware and humans taking aim on the International Space Station. 40 seconds into the flight, three with the two and a half minutes, the
Pattern is traveling almost 2,600 miles an hour, 21 miles in altitude, 24 miles downrange. Standing by for solid rocket booster separation. already traveling 3,200 miles an hour, 35 miles in altitude, 50 miles downrange. The propulsion officer reports the saw history. system engines have ignited. Atlantis kicking on its afterburners for 1 minute 23 seconds for the final phase of power flight. Atlantis, two engines down. Two engines down. That call from Capcom.